Yeah, that's you walking. Mm -hmm. You just listening. This you walking. You're walking to abundance. You're walking away from your past. And this is a journey for yourself. Did you see any other people with him? See what, what I'm trying to imply with these conversations or simple, simple, simple stuff here. The journey that you choose, whether that be the hero's journey, any spiritual walk, trying to learn Forex or trying to trying to get somewhere outside of where your mind has put you in your life is a lonely road. Some people are going to choose to go on that road with you, but you're going to um, see really fast that they just not everyone's going to take the same path. And see, the more you sharpen yourself and the more you let time go by and you're consistently sharpening your skills and honing on to your dreams and, and um, getting the fixed, focused, driven, one lane walk like you're doing right now, you'll start to realize a lot of people will get off that road with you. And here's the thing, when those people get off that road with you, you have to continue going. You got to. I can't stress this out anymore. Like you, if you got somewhere to go and you got six or seven people trying to drag you down, but you really want to go there, you got to ask yourself, are you going to stop what you're doing to satisfy them in the state that they're in? Or are you going to satisfy your hunger and your passions to get to where you want to go? So it's, it's, it's really important that you keep these type of people and, um, you know, keep them at a distance, love them from a distance. You know, they can't, you can't really have them on your endeavors especially if they don't under they don't truly understand your purpose and your passion and they're asking you questions and second guessing you and stuff some people think that stuff is cool but after a while that stuff can get to you you are who you hang out with like i've said so what i want to talk about on this video is um it's basically tapping, tapping into the unknown. So there is an unknown power, which is an exist in all of us. We all have this power. And we make great line of distinctions when we're trying to learn something, because that's what learning is. When you want to go get your car, like I, I think I've said this before, when you go get a car, you know, when you were 18, you just went and got a car like I did. I went and got a car from um, a car place. I'm not going to say their name. And I wanted a car. So I got the car. Three, four months later, we realized that, you know, they stitched it up in the insides um, and made it just presentable for about three or four months. And it broke down and it was very expensive to fix this car. And I took that L. <laughs> so what ends up happening, I went again a couple of years later to get another car. And this time I made a line of distinction between the first time I got the car and this time. So I had to learn, okay, let me check the engine and all this other good stuff. So I checked the engine. Um, I had some, a friend help me check the engine and all that. And it looked pretty good to go. Same problem happened after that. <laughs> Three or four months of driving, um, oil was leaking into the, the gas where the gas was coming out of, uh, overheating just came out of nowhere. And there was, um, I guess, what do you call it? Um, little specks of metal sitting inside the gas 
See, those were little external things that you couldn't see just by looking into the car. So here we are again, another car in my, in my name and it only lasts for three or four months and that was it. So 2018, 19, same car you guys see me in all the time. Making more line of distinctions because that's what learning is. That's what tapping into the unknown is. So I made lines of extinctions and I was like, okay, I need a car that ain't gonna break down, that ain't gonna do this, that ain't gonna do that. You know, I start being detail orientated, what type of car I'm going. And it just came to the point where I just want a car that's fairly brand new. No check engine lights, no bad history and all that. And I went and got my car that I'm driving now. And it's been a beauty for me. But see, if I didn't go through those first two cars to get to the experience and the line of distinction of what I wanted, then I would, would be like most people are when they're trying to learn. I just want a car and never made the line of distinctions of what type of car. Are you gonna be careful where you get it from? What are you looking for? Like those things come with experience. And I say all of these things because you could take that same concept and bring it towards any part of your life. Now back to the unknown. You have a circle and a realm, a circumference of reality, what you see reality is. Outside of that reality, you claim that you don't know anything outside of that. So it's basically your religion, your uh, social status, uh, your political stand in life, your financial thermometer, um, et cetera, et cetera. You have a standpoint with all of those areas in your life and that's all you know. So if you wanna go somewhere else outside of the circle of your circumference of awareness, then how do you get there? First step is recognizing that there is a invisible or a, a you know an unknown source that is there for you that's already inside of you that's readily available for you to learn new ideas outside of your awareness because it's all again most of this is just about awareness. You don't have um, an efficiency in a certain thing, and let's just say you're a clumsy person. There's no efficiency there. It's unawareness there. You're unaware that you keep doing clumsy things. But when you bring the light, which is what I'm talking about here, the light of awareness over it, it becomes curative. Some things, you know, when we get angry and we let reactions happen, those are un conscious, unaware habits. If you were ever to do get angry the next time you get angry, if you did it in awareness, you'll be like, who's angry? Because you got to ask yourself this, and we're dealing with the invisible power here. If you smoked a cigarette with awareness, you just sat there, don't react, just sit there and observe yourself smoking that cigarette. The question you have to ask yourself is, who's observing you smoking that cigarette? Or if you say, I'm mad, and I'm like, are you mad? Yeah, I was super duper mad. How did you know you were mad? Yeah, because I did this, 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 this. Okay, cool. Who was, a, who was observing you mad? Was that you? Now we're asking more questions. Now we're getting you to think. Because when you get mad, that's not thinking. That's just stuff that's been sitting there for the first 12 years of your life it manifested and got older and it you know severed into what you are now but if you sit here and start observing yourself who's observing you then and then here's a here's a bigger idea start to observe you observing yourself now who's observing the observant of you observing yourself ha ah, that is the unknown power that you can tap into Anytime, if you exercise willpower to tap into, to get 
anything you want. That is the answers to all questions. That's the God in you. When you make a decision to do something and you don't know how to do it, you just made the decision. You're like, man, I'm going to stop smoking these cigarettes or man, I'm going to make sure I um, get 10 R in the market next week. Or man, you know what? I'm going to stop talking to this girl and I'm going to find me a job and I'm going to be successful in this, that, and third. When you start making these decisions and it's something that's outside of the realm of your circumference, the decision creates a, I don't, don't want to say a wormhole. It creates a, a invitation to the unknown. Because again, like on the videos before, previous, the whole idea is to make the decision. Don't worry about how you're going to get there. Just worry about you getting there, like you're going to get there. And you've made the decision and you do, and you go directly in the idea. You start exercising the ideas of the decision. You get emotionally involved in the decision and start making the moves towards the decision. See, and what ends up happening is you're going to struggle because that's just what it is. You're, you're going to struggle because you have unawareness in the area of the decision that you're doing. So that failure, that failure, that struggle of blowing accounts or the struggle of trying to lose weight or the struggle of trying to get to a better um, financial situation, that struggle there is just like building a muscle. You're building a muscle in your mind and when your mind, um, when your central nervous system stops getting in, its, in your way because you already have the answers in any way because you have the unknown inside of you, then a portal will come and work through you. And the next thing you know, you're doing the thing that you've been trying to do this last one, two, three, four years. And, and see, the beautiful thing about it too is this. You cannot connect the dots moving forward, but you can always connect the dots backwards when you get there. So I don't know how I'm gonna be a millionaire. I didn't know how I was gonna be a profitable trader, but I bet you I can tell you now how I became a profitable trader account blowing um, this strategy after this strategy after talking to this person after, I could write a whole story on it but did you really think that um let's say did you think that Michael Jordan when he first came into the league did you think he was um he could write the story how he was gonna get six rings no he had to get the six rings first then write the story I hope I'm getting a good, um, I'm having a good explanation on how powerful you are, you that's listening, how powerful you are, and you are unaware of your power, that's why you're walking around here on a crazy eight. Crazy eight is you'll do good, you'll get to a satisfied area that your, your comfort zone, your equilibrium, where that be your 30k a year or your uh, you know, the, the, the weight maybe is uh, 180, you'll get there and you're like, okay, I'm doing good. Then next thing you know, the mind self-sabotages itself because you're not even trying to grow anymore. And then just like an eight, it drops back down. Well, a uh, crazy eight is a sideways eight. Then you drop back down and then you try again and you drop back down. You're, this is your life. You're continuing to do this and this is why you might get nowhere. You're stuck in a crazy eight, an infinity eight. Keep going up and down, up and down, up and down. And then see that whole crazy eight thing is programmed into you to continue to happen until you tap into the unknown and start tapping into your spiritual powers and start moving and manipulating your central nervous system and in, in the energy that is inside of you to go somewhere else besides a place that you don't know. You gotta understand in essence non non recognition was it non recognitions of not you know non recognition of the spirit leads us to believe that our knowledge is limited to just phenomena of um sensory functions like hear taste touch that's all you're so you're just so much on here taste touch and whatever your emotions can do for you 
which we already found out in the first 12 years, your emotions were shaped by your mom, dad, and everyone else around you. So if you want to get out of that family structure, you got to break the structure, retest it, and drop or fly. Steps in finding this spiritual, the spiritual solution to, to your, your um, issues, because they're really not issues, and then there's always a spiritual uh, solution to every problem. You have to affirm within yourself that you can access that unknown and reckon, fully recognize that there's a spiritual solution that exists. There's a spiritual solution for everything you want and everything you're doing. We were only taught our sensory and our intellectuals. He, hear, see, touch, taste. That's cool, and, you know, and then the emotions. So that's like, I just want to break it down for you. And I'm, I'm going I'm to end it here. You have your, your see, hear, touch, taste senses, right? And then you have your emotions that were um, programmed in your first 12 years of your life by other people. So like I've said before, the question is, who the hell are you? Because you're not really uniquely you, you're somebody else's uh, project. So now here you are, you're using your, your, um, your spiritual you wants you to grow and wants you to do more and you want to do something, but you don't have the data matching inside of your, your, um, your central nervous system for, these, for the stuff that you want to do especially something like trading and then that's not in your data. So it needs to be developed and development is education and education is to pull within, pull within what? Within you, the knowledge that's already inside of you just needs to become aware. You see, we're in a, and we're in a, a state now where we think that we could just take some medicine, some herbs, do some surgery, let the doctor be responsible for all the healing, you know, improve my financial picture with um, some, go and get some applications, let's do some hard work, let's go get a job, let's study for this uh, CCNA, let's do some interviews, let's send out some resumes. See, that's see, touch, hear, taste. That's not spiritual. And I know it sounds crazy. And I'm going to end it here. All you need to do is to make the decision on where you want to go in life. Affirm it through affirmations. Affirm it by being emotionally involved in it. And exercise the idea of how you can do it, not how you can't do it. I don't need, You shouldn't even be saying don't anymore. See, don't. Your subconscious mind takes the don't out. So if I say I don't want coronavirus, you know, subconsciously, I'm saying I want it. There's duality to it. Instead of saying I don't want coronavirus, or I don't want this specific type of person, person or blah, 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 whatever you don't want. Say I'm in perfect health. Say the perfect person is out there for me. Because once you get in the connection of the universe, then you'll receive what you want. And every religion teaches this, but you know, this is not religious talk here. This is like old ancient, this is ancient old ways. This is, this is you do it every day. You're just not unaware, you're unaware of it. And what we do as a people, we always say we don't want and what we don't want ends up coming into our life. Nobody ever complained or kept saying what they don't want and got what they want. I'm gonna say it again and I'm gonna end it here. Nobody never complained their way to success. Nobody ever complained their way to success. Nobody ever sat here and said, I don't want this, I don't want this, I want and got what they want. And with that being said, I will see you on the next video. Peace.